Spring break is almost here. How do you plan on entertaining your kids? Parentologist Dr. Kim Van Dusen has a few ideas. There are many activities that you're going to give us ideas yes. to keep our kiddos. Uh, because I always say when these kids are out of school, I'm like, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Parents are still working. Yes, and some have even two weeks off, which seems like a long time and very daunting for a lot of parents. And parents need to work, whether it's they're actually working at home, like I have a private practice, I'll have sessions at home sometimes, or I'll be recording a podcast, I need it quiet. Or sometimes I just need to do the dishes or the laundry or something just to get around the house. And sometimes I just need a mom self-care break, mm -hmm. where I just need some time alone and a break, and I need my kids to be doing something else. So yes, I have a whole blog with over 50 ideas of things kids can do during spring break. Now it does take a little bit of time and a little bit of, um, you know, effort at the, at the front end of it where parents need to, you know, get the craft, some craft materials and things in advance so then they can just lay it out for them and say, hey, why don't you color this cardboard box or why don't you build a fort or why don't you, you know, um, go on a scavenger hunt around the house and they can come up with the things around the house that they can find mm -hmm. and it keeps them busy for a long time and it keeps them engaged where they want to find all the items on the scavenger list hunt, but they're in the house, they're safe and they're occupied, which oh, is the greatest like thing. Like a scavenger hunt. So yeah. I think in nowadays, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're very accustomed to keeping our kids busy, 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 busy. Yeah. One of my favorite things when my kids come to me and they're like, Mom, I'm bored. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. It's a good thing. Yes. It's, it's a scary for a lot of parents, but uh -huh. it's actually a really good thing. They need to be bored. And yes, sometimes, you know, maladaptive behaviors do come up to happen when the kids get bored because they get into mischief and things like that. But that either means usually two things. One, they need more intellectual stimulation um, or they need more physical movement. So when kids get bored, usually the first thing I say is go outside. And usually they find something to do outside. Whether they're, you know, my son has a, like a bug catcher and he loves just to go out there and put the magnifying glass oh. and try and catch anything he can out there. It keeps him busy for so long, but he's outside, he's getting the fresh air, he's getting movement. Um, or you can just, again, going back to the scavenger hunt, one of my favorite things to do for kids, you can I've do a scavenger hunt of movement. Oh, Okay. so fun okay. and they love it. Was but, it a scavenger on a movement? Well, yes, a movement one. So you basically put on the list, you know, and it's, you know, go into this room and do 10 jumping jacks. Go into the kitchen and find something on the top shelf, which means they have to climb and use some motor skills or, you know, just things like mm. that. But it keeps them moving. It keeps them walking around the entire house. If you have a, you know, upper store, it doesn't matter, but maybe you have some things in the backyard. So they're constantly moving around the house, finding things and then doing things in those, you know, 10 push-ups or whatever it yeah, is, yeah. just to keep their bodies moving. When is a good age to start encouraging that like you're gonna be okay you can play over here and play yeah. by yourself yeah I, I say as early as possible I mean they talk about babies having tummy time walk away a little bit you know even when your baby's an infant you know when they're having tummy time don't be there right at that moment like give them some space and start having them learn that autonomous feeling of oh mm -hmm. mommy's not right here uh, but again toddlers you can have a cool down time where from like 3 to 3 30 if they're not napping anymore um, you can just have a cool down time where they go in their room you turn the lights off they can read they can play but they have to stay in the room for like 30 minutes yeah so as early as possible i see a question here and it makes me you know chuckle because Usually for parents, you know that when the qu house gets really quiet, <laughs> you know, you're like, wrong. <laughs> where are the kids? What are they doing? Right. And I have found my kids either walked into a room and they've taken a magic marker um, yeah. and, and gone all over the wall. They've made them yep. gotten to your makeup and it's just all over and yeah, paint, but, who knows? Yeah, but you know, like at the same time, we want them to, to yeah. have those moments as well, right? Yes. yes, independent play fosters things like autonomy. Like kids need that agency to learn critical thinking skills, problem solving skills, social skills, communication skills, things like that. Yeah. And they need to learn how to be themselves themselves because it's their independence is a life skill so they need to learn how to be independent as they grow and learn how to do that in life because they're not always going to be surrounded by people and people trying to stimulate them all the time like yeah. they need that downtime too I love all it's of this I think the my favorite time finding my kids um, they all got into my makeup <laughs> And it was quiet when I walked in. It was just makeup. everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. But I'm like, wow, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> they, they had a good fun. time. It yeah. worked. It worked. Thank you exactly. so much. And then that blog and everything. If you want to find more activities, they can find it on your website. They can find my website, and I think you're linking it to we, on Fox Five. We are. We are. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having Spring me. Spring break is almost here. We're gonna take a short break. We'll be right back.